keeping in mind that a vector is a quantity that has both magnitude and direction. This question makes a lot more sense. Uh, displacement is not simply adding up the two numbers that we have here because she first walks south and then she walks north and her total distance would of course be 133 meters but that says nothing about the direction that she went or where she is at at the end. So when we add vectors we had to take our direction into consideration. So the girl walks 100 meters to the south. We draw that, we represent that by drawing an arrow to the south. And we can label that as 100 meters. She then turns around and walks directly to the north, 33 meters. So I'm going to start right where I ended up and draw an arrow right on top of that, about a third of the way up because she went 33 meters, which is a, a third of 100. So she started right here and she ended right here. Displacement is asking where is she and in what direction compared to where she started from. So since the vectors are opposite directions, you'll subtract. So 100 meters minus 33 meters is equal to 67 meters. Now that doesn't tell us much, so her displacement has to include this direction. So since she is farther south than where she started from, then the actual answer is 67 meters to the south. Put our box around that and we're done.